Simon Sad and I saw Freddy Got Fingered. It is written and directed by Tom Green. And if you haven't seen this movie, I will spoil it for you. This is requested by a Patreon. If you'd like to fast track a movie review, you can do that at patreon.com slash Presents. On with the review. This movie starts and we're following a 28 year old and he's wanting to become an animator. He has his cartoons and he's going to drive all the way to Los Angeles. He does actually drive all the way to Los Angeles and becomes a person who makes cheese sandwiches. But does it really badly? First of all, I knew this movie was bonkers as soon as I saw him climb on top of the conveyor belts at the cheese factory and then have like that piece of meat and he's like rolling it around like whoo, whoo, like helicoptering it around and I'm like what is going on? Immediately he's fired. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? And of course he goes back to his parents house where his dad's like you need to get a regular old job. Cartooning ain't for you. You ain't gonna be a cartoonist. Nope, you're not gonna do that. You gotta get yourself a regular job. And you know, as an artist who has also experienced the parents being like, you need to get yourself a regular job. I'm like, you know what? I don't want you to get a regular job. Gordon, please pursue your dreams. Do you know how Oprah was before she became Oprah? She was like in her 40s or 50s or whatever. It takes people some time to eventually get into their bearings and get into the position in which they want to be in life. So you've got some time, Gord, all right? Don't listen to your parents. So I'm thinking this while watching him try to achieve his dreams, but also just the way that he acts in public is so nonsensical. He's so weird. Oh my goodness. So he goes to the Hollywood guy. And the Hollywood guy is like, hey, you know, this this won't work. You gotta gotta like be the animal. And you know what he does? Gord goes to this roadkill on the street. Just some deer. And it's presumed that he like cuts it all up. Like, I don't know in what state this carcass is. But next thing you know, he has the carcass on like a blanket over him. He's like, I'm a deer, I'm a deer. He just keeps doing that. I'm a deer, I'm a deer. I'm like, what is going on? What is this? I saw this and I was cracking up. I was like, this is so absurd. What is he gonna do next? Gonna get hit by a truck? He gets hit by a truck. The truck driver is like, what's going on? What's going on? He comes out, what's going on? We got freaking Gord over here and he's like, oh, that's what it's like to get hit by a truck. Now I know what it's like to be a deer. And then he's just all smiling and laughing. Like, what is going on here? Gord is also building a half pipe within his dad's garage. You know, as you do. And he's, you know, doing the bolting of the nails. Pew, pew, pew. They're, it's so loud. And also, he does a little skate trick. Pretty cool skating. And this guy next to him, he's like, I want to skate. You know, I don't got the proper shoes. I'm like, don't do it. You can't do it, okay? I tried longboarding with boots on the other day, and it was a terrible experience. I literally had to put on these shoes in order to do anything, okay? So don't even try if you don't got any traction, please. And of course he tries, he does a flip, and his leg breaks. Like you can see his, <laughs> you can see his bone, and you can see Gord over there licking it. Licking the bone and gagging it out. I'm like, why are you doing this, dude? This entire time, my entire movie watching experience is just being like, what is going on here? This is insane, but I'm kind of loving the chaotic energy, but also kind of turned off by it at the same time. I'm not sure what to feel. We're going to the hospital where the guy's at, right? And we got a chick who's delivering a baby. Gord over here is like, you know what, I'm qualified to deliver a baby. Without washing his hands whatsoever, he puts on a lab coat and just starts helping this lady out with uh, delivering this baby. The woman is like, please don't, please, please don't. I think all of these scenes are funny in this movie. Just thinking about them, thinking about my favorite scenes and recalling them, I just think about them and I laugh. So he has the baby. The baby's not doing anything, right? It has an umbilical cord. 
And so he just swings the umbilical cord with the baby attached to it. And this part got me cracking up. I was like, wow, dude, whoa. And that makes it so the baby starts crying. And I'm like, I guess you fixed it. <laughs> okay. Oh, we gotta cut the umbilical cord. Grabs it. He tries to rip it apart with his teeth. I'm like, what is going on? And he has the umbilical cord. Also, he turns on a nurse. And the nurse is like, oh, come back to my place. And so the nurse, she's like a receptionist, a front receptionist, nurse kind of dealio situation. And she's in a wheelchair. And he goes over to her place. And she's like, all right, you're going to have to hit me in the shins, please. I'm not feeling anything. And he like does it. But I also bring up the umbilical cord because one of the instances he has an umbilical cord tied to his chest. And she's like, I want to suck your dick. And he's like, no, 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 no. It seems like he doesn't want it, but she is forcing it upon him. And I'm not comfortable with this. I do find it funny though, that you got the umbilical cord is just hanging there. And she's like, I'll work around it. I'm like, uh, what? That guy has an umbilical cord hanging from his chest. It's duct taped there. You don't see the duct tape? Oh, it's my lucky umbilical cord. <laughs> what is this movie? So, you know, Gord, he has this dream about, you know, being a cartoonist. And his dad has a fight with him. He's like, get a job. He's like, no, I'm going to be a cartoonist. And so, you know what he does? Dad takes the half pipe and just destroys it. I'm like, oh, that sucks. And also, because of this, the 28-year-old Gord looks at his 25-year-old brother and is like, hey, Dad fingered him. He fingered him. I'm like, what? Uh, yeah, he fingered him. He's doing child molestation. He fingered him. I'm like, well, he's 25. That's not a child necessarily. He fingered him. And so everyone just starts to take this seriously. And I'm like, well, I'm not in support of you slandering your father. You didn't do this. Now everyone's believing that he did do this. He fingered him recently. No, he's 25. What the heck? And so the uh, Freddy gets taken out of the house. As an adult, as a 25 year old, by the way, I'm 23. I'm younger than Freddy. He gets taken to a place where there's a bunch of sexually abused children and they're all bonding. And I'm just like, this is really dark, holy crap. I mean, the dad kind of also screwed over Gord's life. He was having a nice little chill time with this nice little lovely lady, this front receptionist that he met. And the dad goes, hey, he's actually not a computer guy. Uh, he's lying to you. He's he's in my basement. And she's like, okay with that. Well, I, and she eventually gets sick of it and like dates Shaquille O'Neal <laughs> of all people. The most tall boy in the world, the tallest of the boys. Sure, all right, okay, cool. So he's so determined to be a cartoonist big cartoon energy that he actually does, right? And it's only because he writes about his very relatable feeling of what it's like to be in a relationship with your father. You know, like your relationship with your father, not in a relationship, whatever. This is a very relatable feeling. A lot of people hate their parents, okay? So of course this got a lot of success, but also these characters that he draws are, eh, they're a little generic in my opinion, but it's a generic that people are appealed to, like Bluey. Bluey is a very generic character, but has a little bit of design to it, so people love him. But it's just a freaking corgi, okay? That's blue. That's literally the design appeal of that character. So now we got Gord. Gord's a cartoonist. He's made it. I feel good for him. For everyone else, it doesn't end so hotly for them like some people go to prison some people have to deal with their life my entire watching experience was just what is going on and as i analyze this movie some more there is like a hero's journey it's so wrapped up in absurdity that it's hard to tell like what the actual plot is but here is the plot from what i can gather 
So we got Gord, he wants to be an animator, he goes, travels down to Las Vegas, he fails, he goes back up to his parents, he has an argument with his parents. Funny hijinks happen in between all these plot points. And then Gord says, hey, father molested my younger brother. And then everybody is like, what? And then his younger brother gets put into a home and Gord doesn't hear from his father that much anymore. And because of that, he is now a very successful cartoonist slash animator. So that's pretty much the movie. Honestly, my favorite parts from the movie is the baby going in the air, swinging up with the umbilical cord, just swinging the baby in the air. I really liked that. I also liked the part in which we have him with the deer. Very dark. I don't like the situation as much as I like the comedy when it comes to we have like a house full of kids who were sexually predated on is a good way to say it. I don't like that they were predated on, but I do like there's a 25 year old in the midst of them who shouldn't be there. I like that part, you know, and there's comedy that comes from that. It grows on me when I first watched this, like just as a watching experience, it's like, what is going on? But after like, dwelling upon it and thinking of the artistry i'm like oh this is actually great and i heard that tom green just did whatever he wanted spending the studio's money and it was like haha i can't believe they spent 14 million on that ha 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 i like the artist spirit there's this overall artist spirit that i really appreciate of this movie this movie is hard to rate i gotta give this movie oh geez it's like uh it's underrated this is a solid 8 out of 10. If you like this review, watch another one. The platform really likes that. If you want to fast track a movie review, you can do that for $20 dinos at patreon.com slash ASC presents. And if you like to help for daily grindiness of all them daily movie reviews, go to this link tree, find the way you can help sort the daily grind of all them daily movie reviews. So you can go here. And until next time on Min Sao Zaw, see you later my sour croutons and bacon bits. 